Hey there YouTube fans, thanks for watching this episode. This is a tutorial on how to apply sound deadening material into the rear doors of a Gen 3 or generation, third generation Prius um, into the rear doors. Over here I'm using a roll of this peel and seal aluminum and basically these are typically used on the flues inside ducting and also to seal parts of uh, houses on the insides so anyways it's a great sound deadening material that's been used on cars and a lot of people have had great success with it and I am also now a fan of using this I've used it in the front door skins on the Prius and now I'm tackling the rear doors I'll link the video on how to take apart to remove and reinstall the rear door panels of the Prius uh, link will be below in the description box. So anyway, here's the peel and seal. Works great. After I've removed the door panels, that plastic piece that's hanging out there, that's the vapor barrier that's behind the door panels. Um, and it's got a strip of adhesive around it. So you just peel that back and typically you'll still be able to reseal it. So I've kind of marked it out and see how much material I'm going to use from the roll. I unroll it and then I would cut it to size. And then you just peel off the backing off of this aluminum sh strip. And underneath that is this black tarry stuff. And you just basically slap it on and it's pretty sticky on the back of that. Put it on the door panels. And you can use a wooden roller to form it into the doors better. But I don't have one of those with me. So I just ended up using the this the little plastic tool that I use for the door panels so I just kind of push them into position to get it to stick and it sticks pretty well even with just using this procedure as I've done it on the front doors and I've reopened it back in to replace my speakers and do some adjustments and it has stuck on pretty well so I'm pretty happy with it uh, all in all this uh, sound deadening that I'm using on this has worked really well and makes a huge difference. As Prius owners know, these doors are pretty rattly and tinny when you open and close them. It makes it makes me cringe with that sound. But now after I've applied this on the inside door skins, makes a huge difference. Sounds more like the thud that the European cars make when you open and close the doors. So here with the when I peel back that vapor barrier, I even put a couple of strips inside there. So I use some strips on the inside door skin and then as, as much as I've covered on around on the area behind the door panel. So like on the upper part and on the side parts close to the speaker and on the bottom part. And you can cover as much as you want on this. It's totally up to you. And after you've applied all as much as you want it on the peel and seal then you can reinstall the door panels again the link to that video I have it's gonna be on the bottom of the description box how to reassemble the door panel back on uh, I'll also put a link for the peel and seal that I've gotten in this roll uh, typically for the all the four doors and even parts of the trunk and rear hatch just two rolls is enough to do all that so way more economical than dynamat i'm sure there's going to be dynamat fanboys that would swear by it and that's the use and that's great but um, i'm a little bit on a budget and i can't afford to use the dynamat on this ride so um, this is what i've used i'm happy with it it's been great uh, i've used it so definitely a thumbs up for me Again, thanks. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Please comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it. Have a good night.